Hi there. Um, I wanted to show share how I integrated um, Tactical Shooter AI with Dark Tonics uh, for a game kit. Um, you should be able to use Dark Tonics uh, Pool Manager as well. Um, so what I'm showing you here is this is one of the scenes that I changed the setup so that um, I have two spawn points here where the weaker team spawns. The green ones are shotgun wielding and the blue ones are uh, small machine gun. Um, and you'll see I've got a couple waves set up. And basically the yellow team will win all the time because they've got really high health. Um, but the whole point of this is just to show that you know the spawning, respawning, and some of the uh, waves that work. Um, so I've put all of the uh, script changes um, on my website and I'll have a link uh, below the video. And so um, high level and so if I look at one of my um, one of the uh, these are the guys that came with Tactical Shooter AI. So basically, I took um, this Team One SMG. I just put the word pooling on the end of it. Um, I didn't change any, I didn't add any scripts to uh, the main character. Uh, but what I did was on this Soldier Ragdoll, I added this Tactical AI Ragdoll Despawner script that I created. Uh, basically, what it does is, you know, after the, um, when you hit play, it splits the ragdoll out by itself, and team one is, um, I'll show you what I mean, and and the actual character. Um, so notice, see all these ragdolls? They're actually linked to, um, to these guys. So this is the parent here. But then, as soon as it spawns, this soldier is um, unparented, so it's its own parent. So this script, basically, when they die, it'll reparent it, and it'll um, update some settings. Um, is basically what the script does. Um, so that script needs to be added. The rest of the scripts are everything's already set up. Um, so if you go through and make the edits that I suggest on my, um, that I outline on the website. Um, if you want to see my level settings, um, basically I created um, a prefab pool for the shotgun. I, I set this guy up as a, to be pooling as well. And I've got the, um, this one right here. And for team two, I just grabbed the, uh, this team too, and this is the one where the health is, is really, really high. So it's like, yeah, it's got like 100,000 health. So that's why the yellow guys don't die. Um, I just left it that way for testing. And then I've got uh, spawners set up. So I'll turn my render on so you can see it. Um, so see, there's one spawner there. Um, And then the other spawner, I've got it set up here. And team two, that spawner is actually, I just put it uh, about where they start normally. Uh, one thing that I found out that I need to be careful of is the level wave settings. So it's at zero, 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 and it just so happens on this map, zero, 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 there's nothing there. Um, so what I did is I created this um, just square out here in the middle of nowhere and I redid the navigation mesh because each of these, when they spawn, they are looking for um, the nav mesh agent needs to be on, um, it needs to be on a nav mesh. Uh, so if the level wave 
if this prefab is not on the navigation, it um you get some strange errors. So instead of moving this um to a different place other than zero zero zero, I just left it there and created this square. Um, if you go to my website under this other tutorials, I've got the um, Tactical Shooter AI page. Um, down here, I talk about each of the scripts. So I've got like my health script edits, um, and I talk about the edits that I made um, on the animation script. Um, I talked about uh, some of the differences, like moving start to on spawn, and you know, I made all the uh, Co-routine stop. That's more just a, you know, just in case type of thing. Um, there's it right here. Stop all co-routines. Um, for the target script, I talk about the changes there. Um, and on the custom AI behavior script, I have some of the changes uh, that I made. Um, maybe mainly it's um, ending all the behaviors that were created and stopping all the code routines. And on the base script, I talk about you know this change, which I believe this is part of uh, on death. So I instead of destroying it, I send some calls to uh, other scripts and the target script as well. Um, so there's a lot of edits in the, the base script. Um, and then here's the script that I created that I put on the ragdoll. So this is the Tactical AI ragdoll despawner. Um, I'm not really going to go through all of it. Um, and if any of these things are confusing, let me know, and then I can actually go into some of the changes. Um, I tried to put a couple of comments um, for what I did, um, but mainly, most of the time, it's moving uh, what's already there to a different location, to like on spawn. And maybe I moved the awake. See, I moved the awake pieces. I just copied them and moved them down, and then uncommented. And I'm going to assume that everyone knows how to uncomment. You can just go in and just put um, these, these two slashes in front of it, and that will uncomment it. Alrighty, well, hopefully this is helpful. Um, I also have links to uh, where you can get the um, packages. Um, so I've got the Tactical Shooter AI link and the Core Game Kit. And like I said, um, there's also a full full boss, but I think you have to use dark tonic dot. Um, I'm not sure what the using statement would change to. All right, thanks a lot.